Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and welcome to my today. Hey y'all, I'm working on this new beautiful bloom that I've been watching Nikki D do and a few other things. I just put down my, um, let me move that this way and cover up whatever might get jumped on. Anyhow, and put down my house paint, which is bare. Uh, oh geez. Y'all, I'll put everything down below. Anyhow, had to water it down a little bit. Mine was pretty doggone thick. I'm looking for, I got oodles of bubbles, and I don't know why, but we're just going to go on. Okay? Been watching Nikki D, and her stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Okay? So, I'm working with some, some different colors here. I just did one, y'all, and I, it really... It started off beautiful and then got not beautiful. So I don't know what else to say. Um, I'll put all my colors down below. But this is the um, Hippie Pigments called uh, Rose. This one right here. I just stirred it up and now it's got big bubbles. I think I'm going to be using that one. I think I'm going to use um, Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. Oh, what else? I might use this purple mix. And y'all, I don't even remember what's in it. I know it's a mixture of um, pigments and a paint. And y'all, it's beautiful, but I can't remember the colors. So you'll have to forgive me on that one. Please do. Um, I am liking this Pink Flamingo. It is a pigment from Naked Fusion called Pink Flamingo. And these are gorgeous colors. I might use this. Um, it is called Orchid. It is a chameleon powder. And um, anyhow, it's gorgeous. got purpley, pinky. It just kind of shifts. Kind of like a... Sh and I thought that might look pretty. And we'll just go from there and decide whether or not. I know I'm going to use some gold. I'm not sure. Um, this is a turqu turquoise. And I think this is Lucas Krill. And I think it has a little bit of iridescent added to it. So I don't know. Okay, and I might use a blue-black. Wherever that one. There it is over here. I've got some other colors. But if I choose to do something. Man, there's bubbles all over. Where is my little stick I was using? Okay, we'll get a new little stick. When in doubt. Um, they're just tiny ones, though, so hopefully... Okay, and I'm using a 6x6, six six, I believe it's 6x6 six six little wood boards. I get three in a package. I found them at Walmart, and I just bought them a while ago, and I've had them a while. So... I think I'm also going to use this mauve from Lucas Krill. I did like the way it started off. Okay. And y'all, I think I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to do three little dots. Try not to get white in it. And I'll put my new pouring medium together. And I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here like that. Do, do. Let us see. Let's try a dot of this um, purple mix. <laughs> and a dot here. And a dot here. Let's see. How about some of this um, Orchid, Chameleon Orchid by Let's Resin, actually. It's a, but it works in paint, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Um, I am going to add, because I know this pink will still go with these purples. This is that rose. Just trying to make subtle colors. And I'm thinking it might be time to put a touch of this yellow here. 
well it's not yellow, it's the nickel hazel gold which just about goes in everything. It's a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous color. And it is not wanting to come off my stick. So you would think all of these crazy colors, how about I've got a ghost blue, a ghost green, and a ghost red. Hmm. I'm gonna put this just this by naked fusion, it is green apple. Right there just because I want some green at the base and maybe some of this um, Lux Ghost Green here out on the side of it. Like that. Anything else that I've got here? Did I add any of this beautiful turquoise? I'm not going to put it this time. Oh, my gold. Okay. And I'm going to put that right here. Like that. And I'm going to put just a touch of this um black blue. And it's you can it's definitely a mixture of um colors. And we're just going to start there. I wish I had yellow. I don't have yellow. We're just going to call that done. My blow dryers did not work. It, it wouldn't even blow the one I had. So I'm going to try to blow this smaller than I had before. And I have to blow it with my mouth. So I'm going to bring it up. Here we go. Oh, there's the yellow. Now. Ooh. I'm not sure about what I just did right there. Hmm. I'm going to wish I hadn't done that, but let's see. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I like. I just messed it up right there. All right. I'm going to bring this in because I like to kind of bring some differentiate some color or bloom right let's see if I bring some of that together this looks awful I don't know what I'm gonna do yet Everything's good except that. Oh! How about if I go that, that, like that, like that? I mean, hey, I am working it now. Well, that looks a little bit better. Almost looks like a dry leaf, huh? That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I love this. I love this. I love that little bit of bloom behind it. There we go. I'm afraid to touch anything. I am going to just spin it slightly. Probably going just to open it up a little. That's all that spin is for. I've already, I have GAC 800 in my paint, in my base, and in my paint. So, oh, I'm praying, Lord, please don't let these be ruined. 
What do you guys think? Actually, I'm not hating this thing right here. I need to not do too much more because I have done... Let's bring them up, make them happy. I think I'm done. I'm just going to stop. I think it's absolutely stunning. There are cells right up in here that are absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring it up to you. All right. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? I see some bubbles. But I'm going to pop them. But she's gorgeous. Where did I see those bubbles? You have to be real careful. Okay, I like this one better than my last one. Let me see. My last one's not awful. It's just too big. So let me go put this over here. And I am going to move these. I just don't have a spot clear for them yet. Okay. All right, so hang on just a minute, and I'll be right back to show you, okay? Both of them together, all right? I had a video for it, and it didn't turn out real good, so I'm just going to show you what it looked like, and I'll show you the one. That's more what I was looking for. It is absolutely stunning. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> now, you see, it is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. But this is really, let me get out of this light, let me see, there we go. This is actually the size I was wanting for that 6x6. Six six. So I spun this one and it went crazy and then I started playing with it. So I think I'm going to scrape it and just do another one, okay? So anyhow, y'all, if you like this, this one, you can like this one. I don't care for it, but you can like it. Or you can like that one. And if you do, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Share with your friends. Watch a little bit longer. Subscribe if you're not already. We have so much fun. And um, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I have a new Facebook uh, share page. It's still new. It's still growing. would love for everybody to join. So tell your artsy friends to uh, come and join Let's Share Happy Art on Facebook. All right, y'all. Remember, it's so important to think of other people these days or it's a lot of people are having a whole lot of trouble. And if you would just spark some happy in their heart today, just let them know that you see them, that you know they're there and that they are important. So anyhow, I thank you for being here. I thank you for all that you do for me. Y'all be blessed and I'll see you next time here on Happy Art Creations. Toodaloo. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye, y'all.